Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another soggy day in Red Dead Online. Now in today's video, we are going to be going over today's daily challenges, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now the ones that are included today, uh, kill 20 animals, pick 5 bay bolit, we've got uh, cook 3 plumped or seasoned plump birds, so like turkeys or things like that, uh, cook 3 succulent fish season succulent fish we have to have one herb picking contest completed pick five oleander sage and then kill three players with a revolver while in a free roam event or free roam events not just one multiple events it doesn't matter how many it takes all right so well i know i'm really close to some oleander sage where i'm currently at which is actually between oh i'm at the civil war area which is kind of between uh Caliga hall and Brythwaite Manor. Um, cooked seasoned succulent and fish. I actually have a video on that. I'm, I'm actually going to pick do a couple videos on these separately so people don't have to necessarily watch these specific daily videos to get them. And obviously you guys know how to kill 20 animals, but that's pretty easy to do, especially in the area that I'm at. I mean, it can be deer, whatever. It does not matter what it's going to be. All right, and then turkeys. Uh, you guys can pretty much find those anywhere. Just get a couple of them, and then just make sure that you have mint, oregano or thyme and then you're going to be able to cook your seasoned plump bird so that's actually pretty easy and believe it or not i do believe that i actually have my if i can why is my satchel not coming up that was really weird i'm um, like pushing the button but i believe i actually have some plump bird uh, i got cooked i already have that i thought i had plump bird yeah cooked plump bird maybe i don't have any original oh wait the game meat plump bird yeah so i already have i kind of keep a stock of like game meat and plump bird on me just in case for some of these but that's just what i kind of do so if you guys find like a group of turkeys or even like some of the rabbits for game meat or anything like that then just keep a few of them on you at all times Pretty much it's always going to be just three, so try to get them as often as possible. All right, so we're going to go off and do some Oleander Sage, which I believe we should be really, really close to it. We actually just need to go down into like this entire area right here. So we're going to start by going right about here, I believe, is like the first location. So not too terribly far away from where I'm at, but just in case you guys don't know, I'm going to zoom out on the map a little bit so you guys can see exactly where I'm going to be going here for this Oleander Sage. Let's go ahead and make our way down and get some Oleander Sage. But hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. I do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. It means a lot to me and is very much appreciated. All right, so let's just go and make our way right down into this area. Obviously, using our uh, eagle eye to be able to be able to find it and locate any type of uh, herbs is going to make it a lot better. And once the new update finally comes out for Red Dead Online, it'll make it a lot easier because there is one of the professions where you guys can actually get. Uh, you can actually run with uh, your... Oh, man, this is going to make it really hard with this time of day to see the ones that are actually... I believe there's actually some right in here, too. Yeah. All right, what do we got here? The milkweed. What do we got over on this side of the train tracks? Looks like some more milkweed. More milkweed. Lots of milkweed. Lots of milkweed over here. If you guys need milkweed, we found a whole bunch. There's more milkweed right here. All right. I think Oleander Sage is this one right here. There we go. All right. So here's two. I knew there was some in this general area. I knew it wasn't too terribly far away. All right. So that's already two out of the way. Make sure that there's no more that I'm missing. Perfect. Now let's just go ahead and run back to our horse, jump on Shadow Fox, and make our way 
towards San Denis. All right, let's kind of go this way a little bit. Now, just kind of keep your eyes open in this general area because basically to and from that area is going to be some. I believe this is some right here as well. Oleander Sage, perfect. So this is going to be four right off the bat. There we go. Now we just need to pick one more. And we'll have Oleander Sage all done and complete. Now, if I... Oh, gosh. There's there's a, a gator right there. Now, I think we do have to ride just a little bit further up here. I think there's actually not too many that are, like, really close. There we go. There's some right there, right in front of me. There's a total of six. So, we... Within a very, very short amount of time, we found R5, and then obviously this one would be a 6. And you can actually go up just a little bit further, and there are a few more as well. Perfect. We got that daily challenge all done and complete. Now, there was Bay Bolit that we have to go ahead and pick. And we're going to actually fast travel over to Valentine. So once I actually get to Valentine... All right, everyone. So we are in Valentine, and we're going to be looking for Bay Bolit. And let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you guys on the map exactly where we're at. We're actually just right outside of Valentine. You can see there's Valentine there, and you can kind of see the general location. But kind of in this general area, you guys will find like 10 locations or, or so of it. Now, I can't remember exactly where they're at, so we're going to have to use our, our eagle eye. And kind of just watch where we're going. We got some carrots there. Looks like we got some tobacco. Where's this one right here? Perfect. There we go. We're going to go ahead and pick that. Looks like there's a couple of them right here. Now, there probably, are, there probably are some other really good locations as well on the map. And if you guys want to share them with other people, then don't forget to put that comment down below. Because I'm sure a lot of other people would definitely appreciate that. So, these are just the general areas that I know of. Alright, let's move on to our next location. There should be some actually over here on this this area on the left side of the road. We got some, looks like some kind of berry bushes. Can't, can't tell what that is, actually. But it's not a bay. And actually... These are mushrooms, right? Yep, so we don't really want the mushrooms. We've got some carrots here. All right, which should be a little bit further inland here. Oops, looks like we got a gang hideout to appear. Nice, not too bad. Oh, I'm just not I'm just not seeing them real real well, but I know they are here. All right, guys, here is a couple more locations. Looks like there's actually just uh, one right here in front of me, or there's two right there. So we just have a couple more that we have to go ahead and pick. So I think we've already picked up two. So this will be three and four. I'm going to show you guys on the map where this one was at here. And that gang hideout is still there, so we can go ahead and check that out in a little bit. So there's that location right here. Now, there should be one, like, somewhere down in this area. And then, actually, somewhere down below the hill, there should be some more as well. And there should actually be some over, like, in this general area. So, you should find them all around in here. But you should be able to find them relatively easy. And, obviously, just use your, your eagle eye and kind of do your thing. I got to get my horse over here. All right. And here is another location for you guys. Let's go ahead and pick this, and I'll show you guys exactly where I'm at. I'm actually just below the hill, kind of that I was mentioning earlier for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right there. So there's a couple up at the top of the hill in this location, and then there's a couple down in this location, and then there's some more over in like this area right here. So pretty easy to find. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that. Uh, the other ones for the daily challenges should be relatively easy to complete. Obviously, killing the 20 animals should be good to go. Uh, cook your season plump bird. You just need some thyme, some turkeys, oregano, something like that. Succulent fish. Check out my video on that one. But that pretty much wraps up today's daily challenges. If you guys did enjoy the video in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.